Cupid's at the Cash. Gary B, the casual comic guy here. And this week, guys, I know I look really tired. I uh, started a new job, been working crazy hours. I got just too many to count in in three days. So it's all bags under the eyes and looking exhausted. But it is new comic book day. We're going to go through the haul that I got for this week. Then I'm going to cut my hair because I just need it off me. So let's get through what we got. So last week we didn't have it in. So I had to wait for it for another week. But I got the FOC variant of the Geraldo um, Zafino cover of Conan and the Barbarian issue 14. Just a beautiful cover. And I really wanted to get the FOC black and white. So happy to have it. And uh, finally, after like seven, eight months, I think, Fire and Ice issue 3, which has been a great comic, but... Come on, Dynamite, you're a big publisher now. We shouldn't be waiting months and months and months between installments of issues. And then, of course, it got the um, second cover, too. Really beautiful cover. Dark Wolf there. Then, Helen of Windhorn, issue number four. Just a series I'm really loving, written by Tom King, art by Bill, Billy El Bill Quest Evely. See, I'm so tired, words are just difficult for me. But... Uh, this is an artist that I discovered on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, and her art just instantly grew on me. I just love it. It's so gorgeous. All right. Next up, Wonder Woman, issue 13, with some cool-ass armor on her there. And um, I got to catch up with the last two issues. I am behind on this, so that's going to be something I try to do this weekend is catch up on the last couple issues of Wonder Woman. Uh, you know... I think I lost a little bit of the excitement when it was a tie-in for um, Absolute Power. But I have faith in Tom King. I'm sure the stories are going to be still incredible. And then this one, I'm getting the miniseries just because it's kind of savage. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel all winter. So I'm actually giving this a chance. Once I get all the issues, I'll read it. See uh, how I like uh, Barbarian uh, Batman. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Spider Society issue number two. Got the End of the Spider-Verse Spider-Woman variant. All right, and then the big book of the week for me, the one I was so excited for. We have Dazzler with a cool little cover here. A little bit classy, getting herself ready before a show. So a nice cover. Then a really cool cover with uh, the Godzilla variant, Dazzler, the Dazzling Godzilla. Great cover there. So really cool. Uh, I think this is Derek Chu, but a little booty cover of Dazzler on this one. Really nice. Then I think this is a secret variant. Uh, and I think, I don't, I can't, I'm blanking on the artist. But Chris from Retro Rocket Comics told me this was a hidden variant. My LCS had it for me, of course, because Retro, I mean, because Linus Comics is awesome. So they had one set aside for me in my folder. But great little cover, great attitude on it, and um, just something you would expect Dazzler to be doing, right? Relaxing, listening to music, and just having a good time. Then, I love this cover. These next two covers are just absolute killer to me. You got Terry and Rachel Dodson, and I love the Dodsons. Their covers are, their art is some of my favorite art. I've always loved their style. I think it's magnificent, and I think it, every time they do anything, I think it pops. I just think it's beautiful. This cover is no exception. This is extraordinary. Absolutely love this cover. Beautiful. And then, of course, the Kari Andrews cover with her X-Men Dazzler outfit. And uh, this cover is just gorgeous, too. Just so two beautiful covers in it all. I mean, not really any bad covers at all this week. Just really good art all around. But super excited to dig into Dazzler and um, just get into this miniseries. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know I'm the Conan guy, you know I'm the Red Sonja guy, but you also know I'm the Women of Marvel guy, especially Carol Danvers, Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, Black Cat, and Dazzler. Those are my mains. Love them. And, uh, you know, I have the whole Dazzler run, some, uh, two, sometimes three, over on a lot of the issues. It's one I've always had. It's a very up and down run. Uh, just like a lot of those series back then where they kept shifting creators and it was just always a different vision getting in But still a run. I love all 42 issues. You had um, then a 42 beast mini series You had the graphic novel movie tie-in thing uh, Just a lot of fun But let me know if you guys got any books that you're excited about this week 
that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep it casual. Hope to look better and be more awake for the next one. Take care, guys.